This is Ryan Abraham with USCFootball.com. Here, check in for the Polynesian Bowl. Beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. From Orem, Utah, out here, Puka Nakua, USC. Four-star wide receiver, commit. Well, welcome to Hawaii. How's it going so far? Uh, thank you. It's been, it's been <laughs> great. I just barely landed, but I mean, it's great to just be in Hawaii right now. I'm excited for the whole week and the, the activities we got for us, but I'm just excited to be here. So you got to play in the, uh, the, the, the All-American Bowl down in San Antonio, Texas. This is going to be a little different. You're on the islands. Yeah, definitely. Uh, San Antonio was nice. It was a great experience. Uh, definitely a lot of memories made out there. But uh, Hawaii definitely is different. Uh, being around uh, the my culture and being around uh, the islands, it just feels better. And being in Hawaii is nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, talk, I want to talk about San Antonio real quick because you balled out there. How did you feel you performed down there? Um, I felt good. I mean, it was a great week. It was the best competition out there, and uh, I just felt like I was able to do my part and get in there and make plays. It didn't feel like I was stretching myself too much, but I just got in there and did my job, and uh, I felt good. It was a good competition. It was a great week. Uh, it was good to feel my skills out for, co compared to everybody on the East and the West Coast, so it was good. And then for this, is a little bit different, not just because it's in Hawaii, but like you mentioned, it's the Polynesian Bowl, different cultures and stuff. How, what, what does that mean to you? Um, it's huge to represent my culture. There aren't a lot of receivers. I mean, Juju is yeah. kind of the big name receiver for the Polynesian culture. So, I mean, it's it's a great experience to be able to be here and meet him and, ho and get a chance to interact with him, but also the people, the, the players that are of my culture and this culture, and they, to celebrate it and be able to uh, introduce it to other people who come out here. Yeah, is that important to you? He's one, I think it's the ambassadors, I forget what they call it, but he's one of the you know, player representatives here, he's, you, know, yeah. he, you know, with that culture. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool because they take time. I mean, uh, I know Haloti just played in his game uh, yesterday yeah. and uh, lost, but I mean, Juju, they take their time out of their career and to come out and visit with us and help uh, some of these other kids who have an experience this culture, have a great time out here in Hawaii. Yeah, no, it's not all just fun and games. You're going to be out there practicing yeah. and stuff. Is there any, any kind of goals you have for this week? or? Um, no, just to have fun. I mean, these are kids who are going to go play in Division One, so hopefully develop some relationship with the, some of these kids and just uh, compete. I know everybody's going to be excited. We're in Hawaii, but just to have fun pretty much. Yeah, if they have, people haven't watched you before, what kind of receiver are you? How would you describe your play? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, fun, ener energetic. I, I mean, nothing too fancy. I just wanted to get in there and make my plays and do my job and make sure it gets done. Yeah. <laughs> I love to celebrate, have fun. Football is a game of joy. It brings... I get super excited, just get juiced talking about it. If, if I get in the end zone, I'll probably do something silly or dumb, but I'm just excited <laughs> to be out there and have fun. You were a USC commit, but you didn't sign in the early period. Was there What was the kind of rationale behind not signing early? Um, committing early, I mean, I knew L.A. is somewhere I felt when I going out there with meeting with Coach Helen and being out there in L.A. It's something I felt in my heart that I, I knew impacted me. But uh, the way the season went, and then talking to my mom, uh, I wanted just to make sure. I mean, I didn't end up visiting. I only did uh, Utah and USC for official visits now. I was just going to visit all the schools and just completely look at my options. But I still have a commitment to Coach Helen, and that means something to me. And I know we're getting close to signing day, but <laughs> we're, we're, we're still here. Yeah. Well, now there's been obviously some, some turnover as far as the offensive coordinator yeah. goes. <laughs> Cliff Kingsbury got, did you get to talk to him much? And what, you know, what did you think of that? Yeah. So the week he was hired, he came to my home visit with coach Helen right before the early signing period. That was uh, my last, uh, that was my official visit. So they came on the Wednesday and then I, uh, flown out there for the weekend. So I met him and we talked to film, watched that, sat down film, we really liked it. I mean, as a receiver, who wouldn't like it? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was kind of tough, but uh, we went from there. I did like him, but Coach Casey is uh, someone who I've known the longest and uh, we have a good relationship. So as a receiver's coach, that's another attraction, even though losing the OC. Yeah, Kerry Colbert uh, yeah. I'm talking about. Have you talked to them or do you you're kind of awaiting who they're going to hire as the next offensive coordinator? Yeah, I kind of waiting. I talked to Coach Helen Call the other day and I talked to KC, so um, kind of just on a waiting process, just as they are. He's telling they get when they get it done. I'll be I'll let they'll let me know, but just kind of waiting to get that phone call and let uh, tell me the news. All right. Well, I know you're going to get some lunch. You just landed a long <laughs> flight over the Pacific, but uh, Puka Nakua here, USC commit at the Polynesian Bowl. Make sure you check out uscfootball.com for more.